a very good morning i am alok shrivastava and i welcome you once again to net of nuts youtube channel so in this video what's in this video simple history hacks nothing more in this video i'm going to show you very simple and yet very effective some tips and tricks to customize and manage your history so let's jump straight away onto the video and the contents uh, so i just minimize this uh, terminal sudo i'll go to my trusted virtual machine this is my trusted virtual machine here it is here i am i can do a su login as root so the first thing is we all are familiar with the history command that it records everything that uh, we do on the machine and i hope all of you are connected to us on our facebook page let me show you if you are not so i recommend or i suggest all of you to please connect us on our facebook page i'm logging it here obviously i'm not going to give you my password ha 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 just open up the facebook i, I hope everybody of you is on the facebook just search for network nuts here it comes and please please do one thing just click on like here so what we actually used to do i actually used to share these small tips and tricks here also like some of the history things that i am going to explain you in the video i had shared it on my facebook page also and it has been done on on saturday so please be connected here we keep on posting new new things tips and tricks exam dates other things and the students also contribute here so it's a very nice platform to be in touch with all of uh, the friends so please just remember facebook.com slash network nuts please join and like the page and be connected always like nokia though i don't know nokia phones i don't like nokia phones to be honest okay i'll just log out from here coming back so we all know that whenever we type anything or we give any command like i'm giving a command pwd i'm giving a command ls hyphen l i give a command date everything is being recorded by the machine and i can see it by the history commands here it is ls hyphen l date and pwd that's great now the first hack is that whenever you give the history command though it gives you the history it gives you the entire history but it won't tell me at what time it is being executed what was the time so now i want to record that also so that it it will be easier for a server administrator or a system administrator to check that the command is being executed but at what time what was the time stamp so there is a very simple hack or a trick just use export hist time format it should come in the caps and then write here date and time that's it export hist time format is equal to percentage capital f space percentage capital t that's great now if i give a command say pwd date whatever and i give the history command you can see there the time stamp is coming up here but it's very close is it isn't it there is no gap in between the time and the history and 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 the commands i don't like this so better way is whenever you give this command just make sure you put a space here one space or two space as per your convenience now if i give the history command again it gives me a very visible space that makes my reading much more effective so i hope you like this that's great what's next the next hack is that suppose you don't want the history to record these stupid or simple command like ls hyphen l and pwd you are more interested in important or dangerous or critical commands executed on your server you are not at all interested in in uh, ls hyphen l date command pwd command so uh, now i want to instruct the history please do not record specific commands how can i do this that's very simple you can use ag 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 again export and the variable hist ignore just a moment please thank you hist ignore and then you can give the command that you don't want the history to record say pwd ls hyphen l and uh, say date what you will keep uh, a line of your commands close it now great so i had just instructed the history please 
ignore pwd command ls hyphen l command and date command if you want to uh, like uh, uh, instruct the history to also ignore ls hyphen la so you need to explicitly write the entry here means suppose i want ls hyphen la to be also uh, like ignored so you need to write it all the options need to be, be written here like this now the history will ignore ls hyphen l as well as ls hyphen la so you need to give all the options now i intentionally give the date command i intentionally give the PD, pwd command i give ls hyphen l command then i give a time command now the time command is not being instructed to be ignored that's great now if i show you the history now you can see only the time has been recorded all other commands those i had instructed to ignore were not recorded by the machine so that actually put less load on your history file size and you will be uh, able to manage and uh, store only the relevant or the important com the commands so I, I i i hope you like this particular hack also or a small trick also one more thing you want a particular command you are the server admin and you are executing some commands and you want that some command should not be recorded though i can use this command option but the point is that it's it is very static now in future if, if i wish to add more commands i again need to edit this i don't want that i just want to pass a special character that if some special character is there so that command will not be recorded that's a very beautiful thing here so again use the export variable hist control now controlling the history and just write here ignore space that means if any command is preceded by a space means space like this that will not be recorded wow that is a real hack means if i give here say time command it obviously it will be recorded if i give here who, who command it will be recorded isn't it but and if if i give here say w command obviously it will be recorded but if i put a space here and then write my command say finger okay it's it's not available fine that's great say space and i give here uh, which command which command which command which command say who am i that's great so just by this control statement that means any command which is preceded by a space here it's a space here will not be recorded by the history let me check wow look the who am i is not here and the finger is is not here why because i had instructed to ignore the space by this so any command that you don't want the history to record just put a space here and then give your command fdes hyphen l so if if i give a history now the fdes hyphen l is not recorded by the history that is a real good hack i can tell you this one more thing is that if you see there say i give a command here one more command say pwd uh, okay fine that is not the case time 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 and i give a history command i had executed a particular command couple of times and if if, if i give history you can see there though the command is duplicate but the history will record it for that number of times i don't want that i want to ignore the duplicate entries that is good that will definitely going to reduce the size of the history but make sure that if you should not be doing this as it will also ignore the critical or the important commands that has been executed n number of times so you have to be careful and you need to choose your discretion whether to use this or not i am not responsible for any of the consequences always i am never responsible for anything ha 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 do i am a very responsible man i don't think so okay <laughs> coming back here i will export his control i say ignore duplicates dubs that's good now if i give a command here which command say I give a cal command, cal command, cal command, cal command. That's great. I've I given the cal command a couple of times. Now, if I give history here, you can see though the command has been executed number of times, but only one occurrence will come as this control statement is in effect. Export control hist ignore the dubs. 
ignore the duplicates that is good but the point is that these all things are temporary as soon as you log out or you reboot the machine you you will lose all these the the benefit of all these export statements how to make it permanent look if i go if if i do a exit here i came out of the shell i came out from here i log in once again i, I go to the root and if i give a history plain plain again no time nothing now that can be a pain in the neck means do i need to execute these commands every time when i log in no can anybody guess where can i put this entry to make it permanent any wild guess yes i am hearing actually i cannot hear <laughs> so the it's a very simple just you all re uh, remember this particular file just into your home directory open up your dot bash underscore profile and anywhere here write export say hist time format i'm just giving you an example percentage f percentage t that's it in the same manner you can write on more options that you wish to be permanent now if you save and come out i exit here from here I exit here I open the terminal again I go to the root that's great if I give a history here the time is coming up automatically oh I again forget the space so you have to be careful uh, to make it more screen presence always put up a space here I give a exit I give a exit here I open up the terminal because I had put in the entry in the dot bash underscore profile those commands or those variables will always be executed whenever you give a particular command you give a cal 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 and i give a history here that's it that's great so need not to just remember this particular file that any that you want to make it permanent just use this export dot bash underscore profile or if, if you manually want to like remove it you can always give unset export say hist control that's it so now if i give cal 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 i give a history command you you can see because i had unset this hist control variable so it, the command is coming up in duplicates so it will remove my parameters or my control statements so these are small hacks like we had learned about uh, how to give the time format we had learned about how to uh, specify i'll just uh, share here we had learned how to uh, give a specific uh, time format for the history so that the timestamp will appear. We had learned how to instruct the history not to record some particular commands. Then we had learned how to use ignore space and then put a space in front of the command so that command will not be executed. And then we had learned how to ignore the duplicate entries from the history that is good so it is uh, just for this particular video i'll be coming back on more on linux and i really thank you all of you for uh, for all the comments and all the feedback that i am uh, i'm receiving on facebook as well as on youtube i'm really honored and i really thank you all of you from the bottom of, of my heart for all the love you all guys are giving me thank you very much Godspeed, take care. And before I stop, I'm still waiting for my car to come. So it, I hope it will be back on Wednesday. So bye, take care. God bless.